Hello everyone, this is uh, Max Windjammer here. I want to give you another exciting tutorial. Um, many of you have asked, is there a way to do the hit light mod for the deluxe? And I took some time to see what it would take and uh, found a way to do that. So let's just get started. First, uh, to make a hit light for the deluxe, you want to take it apart. And be, of course, you want to take out the battery tray and discharge the capacitor inside by pulling the trigger and what you want to do once you have all the screws out is you want to flip it over because unlike the drone um, the half that comes off is this side here the side without the screw holes and you can take the top half off and first thing you're going to notice is that there are some wires that are attached to one half here to the top shell and so you're not going to be able to um, take it off completely. It's going to always be attached. So best way to do that is just lay it to the side here like this. And this will allow you to work with everything. Um, we've got two Molex connectors. And the one is here on the top. Maybe kind of hard to read there, but the one that says uh, Thunder Port. Is, uh, this, these wires are twisted around. It's just untwist them by spinning around a couple of times to get it looking something like this. And then unscrew the screws here. Lift them out. So what we want to do, we want to free it up. We have to cut it with uh, some wire nippers. That creates the hole, and there we go. We got it free. Next, you want to put the HUD connector in and make sure you line it up in the right port. And you put the plate back on, screwed in place, and this is where you have one Molex connector. Okay, next you want to take off the dome light, and this slides right out. Now, I found a real easy way to get this off. All you have to do is just get a flathead screwdriver and then just twist it and it will just lift right up very simple put it on one side twist it and it will come up so that's a very nice handy way to get that off um, without much effort and there you go we have a lot of wires running through here we don't have as much space as we did with the drone so once we take this off we take out all the screws and we take off the plate there's very little room for wires here. Now I already had this pre-soldered from my last tutorial. You know how to do this. But uh, one end is negative, the other end is positive, and I just already have this wired in. And I picked two different wires this time. One is red, the other is black. And what we do is we just lay it in place like this in the top, and we just curve the wires around, bend them over, and this is what we've got. Pop the pop the dome back on it and the best way I found to put this back in place is just get some needle nose pliers just squeeze at the base where it goes and it should pop together nice and easy and there we go slide it in and now we got two wires here just feed it into the side like this now running the wires down through this channel here we want to run the wires on the side and this is a very tight fit so make sure they're nice and flat as flat as possible once you have them in lay the cover on but don't screw the the screws in yet what you want to do is you want to keep these wires here away from this act this port here because you don't want any wires to accidentally get in in between this top plate and the bottom part because you can accidentally pinch and cut some wires if they're in there and I accidentally did that in my test mod and here's a picture of what I accidentally did and don't let this happen to you so what you want to do is uh, stick in a small screwdriver and just kind of press this away from this uh, screw hole here once you have that in just take a screw put it in don't screw it in tight though just get it in just enough to get it started then do the same for the other two just get it started once it's in place then just check your wires make sure there's nothing kinda in between the plate and the base nothing's gonna get pinched or anything like that then tighten on your, all your screws okay here's what we've got we've got our two wires from the LED and our Molex connector now what's gonna be different here is we're not gonna have a pref board the drone had a pref board we are not gonna put a pref board in here just because there's no room and actually in thinking this through this actually works a lot easier you could do this for the drone as well what you want to do now is get your transistor 
And I ran out of the other kind of transistors, and I had this other one lying around. So this is a different type. And a lot of you who may know electronics, I don't know if you're cringing right now. It's like, oh, no, don't use that one. But this one seems to work, so I'm going to stick with this one. And we need a resistor. We're going to use a 10K ohm resistor. In this mod, we're only going to use one resistor. And uh, we'll talk more about that later. But to hook this up to spread these wires across, apart, and then also these are longer. You need longer wires here on your transistor. This helps a lot. And what we're going to do is we'll take our resistor, and we want to trim one end about this length, and we want to trim the other length about twice that length. And we want to take the longer end of the resistor to wrap around the middle pin of the transistor. And this is what we've got. Take some needle nose pliers, crush it tight, and I kind of bend it around. And what we're going to use now is the end pin of the resistor is going to go into the Molex connector. And this other pin is the ground. We're going to stick this into the ground end of our Molex connector. And we have one pin sticking out. This is for the Negative, this is for our input voltage from the LED light. So the negative end from the LED is going to go into here. But first we want to stick in the positive end, go right into the positive port of our LED. Now you could put in a resistor here if you want to. I'm just going to skip this part just to make it as simple as possible. Uh, since the light is on for a brief moment in time, I think it should be all right. If uh, later, if I burn out a LED, I know I'll need to put a resistor in here, but I'm just going to run this maxed out. Next, we take the negative end from the LED assembly, put this into the input or the positive end of our transistor, wrap that around, crimp that tight, and now we're going to test it. And we put our battery tray in, and it's going to see what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't work. Well, why doesn't it not work? Well, I retraced my steps. I don't show a picture of this, but I tested the LED and it lights up when I put voltage to it. Later I found out that the problem was this. I had the Mullix connector upside down when I inserted the pins. And I went through this too quickly. So what you want to do, you want to make sure you have it orientated in this direction with these two notches down. So and this means that this top part is going to be negative, this bottom part is going to be positive, and this over here is going to be your trigger for when you uh, get hit. So I'm going to rewire everything quickly here, and now let's test it up, put our battery tray in, and let's see if this works. Okay, we have a success, and you can see how bright that light is, which is really nice. People are not going to miss that light. So, I'm going to put some uh, tape around everything, tape it up nicely, tape one end so we don't short any wires out by accident. Take some more tape and wrap it all together, and this is what I've got in this assembly just to protect everything. And there's not much room, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of the hilt here like this, and this seems to work nicely. Next, uh, we want to put the two halves together, put the screws in, and there you go. You have it all finished, and you'll have a deluxe that has a hit light. And here's what it looks like in action. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this mod, and... Um, have a lot of fun with this now that you have a, a deluxe that lights up. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.